currently there is a major problem with this setup. Although it looks like it's working, and it's working quite nicely, there is a major problem. So I will demonstrate. What if we bring back in our sphere object? Okay, I'll give him a rigid body. And I'll give him that script to make him move again. And I'll freeze the rotation so he does move forward. Now watch what's happening as the sphere moves forward. Okay, you see that? So we're miles away. But the sphere has entered the trigger volume and it's set off our press E script. So I could see, look, I'm standing we're nowhere near the key and I picked it up. So we need to immediately fix that. And this is a part of the trigger volume script. Okay, so we have all these events that we're looking for. On trigger enter, on trigger stay, on trigger exit. And as you can see, there is no check to see if it was actually the player that entered the trigger. So before any of this stuff happens, we need to do a conditional check. Okay, if what? If the other and that was the collider. So the other and the game object of that collider. And then the name. And we want to check if it is equal to player. So only if the other game object name is named player, then we're going to set up all our triggering. So I'm just going to add this in to all the other functions. Okay, so now we're checking first if the other game object name is player before we do anything that allows us to collect that item. So save that script out. Now we'll go back to our project and see if that's all fixed up. So again, we're watching the sphere. That's moved right past the key. Now we didn't have the opportunity to pick it up. If we go ahead, so we've now entered the trigger volume. So we can click the key. 